Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. Let's jump right into our video and see what we can create. So today I'm going to try to do a, another bloom technique. And I've got all my paints mixed here. This is house paint from Walmart, semi-gloss. Um, this here is the cell activator. And it is the Amsterdam Titanium White mixed with Floetrol. Used one and a half ounce of Floetrol to one teaspoon of the Titanium White. And then I'm going to be using the Color Art Bling It Extreme Pastel Lights. And this first color is Sea Goddess. This blue is Robin's Egg. All these are shimmery pearl colors. This is Pink Parasol. And then I have Hydrangea. And then I have Pixie Dust. And these are all mixed with the pouring medium that I made from two parts of ultra deep base and then um, one part polyacrylic. I'm going to be pouring on a record and I have put this piece of tape here in the center. This will keep my paint from draining down into the hole because I want to make a clock of this when I finish the project. And I've used a gray um, primer because that's all I have. Um, that was close enough to white. And I'm not going to make a trip right now with, um, with the restricted social distancing. Safety first, right? We're just going to use what we have. So I've put my pillow paint down first, and this is the semi-gloss. And I'm just going to spread it out to the edges of the record. Make sure I get it all covered. And then I will start with just pouring um, one little spoon of the bling it of each color all around the center. And then once I have each puddle started, then I'm going to go back and alternate the colors around the, the circle and each of the puddles will have the five different colors in them. Okay, we're going to speed it up just a little bit. I don't want you to get bored before we get to the end. <laughs> Trying to um, make each layer have different colors so that when I blow it out, each part of the design will look unique and not be the same in the color structure. Then I'm coming back over and putting the quote unquote cell activator, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Uh, over the top of the puddles. And I'm sorry I'm having to blow this off camera, but my big head will not fit in the space there between my table and my camera. So I like the colors, but I want them to be more distributed. And so I tried blowing a little bit more and tried tilting it. And as you can see, I did not really get any cells. So as far as a bloom technique with the cells, I would say this did not quite make it. All right, I'll just say it didn't make it. 
but I'm going to keep playing with this a little bit because the colors are really beautiful and they're even more beautiful in person than they are on the camera here. There's a lot of shimmer from that uh, blingit and so what I decided to do was just add a stream of each one of the colors across from the center out to the edge and then I put um, another little bit of the quote cell activator on there and then blew that out and I kind of like how it's taking it out to the edge of the record so I'm going to keep going and I'm going to use the other colors just one line of each one and then topping it with the cell activator blowing it out and then letting the set and let the color rise back and move and do whatever it's going to do and it really is giving it a lot more color all the way out to the edges was which I was really after so this is the last one this is the sea goddess and I'll blow that out and then I'm going to just let it set for a minute and then I liked it so I let it stay right there and set overnight and this is what it turned out to be and it's not technically the bloom but I love these colors this is the first time I've actually uh, used the extreme pastel lights and um, they are gorgeous I'm so excited about this the sheen on that that shimmering and that how it the colors are blending together and it just looks really great love it love it love it so I will be letting this set and um, put it in my drying rack and let it sit there for uh, probably about Two to three weeks before I do anything else to it I want to add um, the resin over the top and then put the numbers but the clock works and I still ended up with some cells albeit they're tiny <laughs> so all is not lost on this I am going to call it a win may not be what I started out for it to be but I love it so I hope that you've enjoyed this project. Um, stay tuned for when I do bring it back and add the clockworks and the numbers and all. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you'll do that now, you'll be notified when I do upload uh, finishing this project as well as other projects when I upload them. And I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below in the comment section. I love to hear your feedback. Um, please click like and share. All those things helps my channel grow. And I can't even tell you how much I appreciate that. And I want to thank you for taking the time and joining me. And I just want to say y'all be safe. And I hope to see you in my next creative escapade. Bye bye for now.